New amendments to the National Credit Act were announced on Thursday that will give consumers amnesty. Within the amendments are provisions that the national credit regulators must remove all adverse credit information and information relating to paid-up judgments. Credit regulators from the 1st of April will not be allowed to give out adverse credit information and have two months thereafter to clean their records and produce proof through an audit. In South Africa, uh, the Credit Act provided for uh, credit providers not to engage in reckless transactions and basically uh, said that if you did, uh, that you could uh, have those uh, transactions voided. Uh, and uh, it also provided uh, various remedies to consumers that were in debt, including things like debt counseling and so on. So that piece of legislation uh, was in place. But we are making amendments because we've seen that there is a need to respond to uh, a number of challenges that we find in the markets that are affecting both uh, uh, low income, working poor and unemployed people uh, and uh, also that uh, have uh, led to a number of uh, problems that have been faced uh, in uh, the um, you know, processes of extending credit and particularly within the context of this category called unsecured lending we've seen uh, a fair amount of what I think, uh, uh, using the term more generically rather than strictly as in the law, uh, uh, reckless uh, type lending. It is a huge number of consumers that are credit impaired. Um, um, of the about 21 million credit active consumers, about 50% of those are credit impaired. And um, so, and, and they, they also have um, concerns about the requests that they get from various entities about consumer information that is held by them. And they have also appealed that that should also be um, 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 regulated, um, I think, a, a, a properly, that people that should not be accessing this information should not be accessing it. Like, for instance, those prospective employers that, that require that information and deny uh, people employment on the basis of a bad credit record. Um, yes, it is important in some financial positions, in especially like for instance the banking sector, but it's not equally um, uh, necessary for other positions. So the engagement with them has been very constructive, as I say, and they've given us a whole lot of information. And also their statistics um, also assisted us in assessing the impact um, in terms of numbers. And because they are the custodian of the information, they can give us um, a sense of what the impact of this will be. So what we're saying is we're saying we need to clear the slate as we introduce a new system through the amendment bill. So what we're basically saying is that uh, adverse uh, terminology that's applied to people must be uh, basically uh, removed, as well as uh, the names of all people who have paid up a judgment that has been executed against them. So paid up judgments and, and people who have got adverse uh, uh, terminology applied <coughs> to their names. That must, that must happen. We are, the notice is saying that from the 1st of April, um, this information will no longer be able to be supplied by the bureaus to uh, anybody who has wanted to make use of that information in the course of a credit transaction or any other reason. But that they will then have two months after that to do the administrative work of actually taking it off their records. So we've given them a, a period of time when they still have that information on their records, and they haven't yet done the administrative work to clear it off their records, uh, but that um, they will not be able to use it from the 1st of April. But uh, from two months out thereafter, they must have taken it off, and they must then submit an audit report to show that that is the case. Um, then we are encouraging people to pay off their debt because now you will be able to get off. Pay off your debt because when the amendment bill goes through, when the amendment act is signed into law, uh, when you pay off there will be a, an automatic process of removing your name from the credit bureau uh, record.